Welcome students. In this video, we will try to complete practical number 8b. What is expected to be done in this practical? It is asked to create a web application to demonstrate data binding using details view and form view control. Now it is expected to use the control named as details view and the control named as a form view. Okay, so it is basically a bound control which need to be used. So let's try to first of all work with a detail view and a form view. We are using our database as BSC IT which was been created by us. In many of the practicals, if you are looking at a series of practical, you will find how to create a database, how to implement validations and so on and so on. In that we have an employee table which has three columns, employee ID, employee name, employee salary and we will be working on this table named as employee. So first I plan to create a new project where I am giving the name of the project as practical 8b then I'd given a click on create this this project does not have any coding huh? everything is set up with the properties only so it has been quite easier one just focus on it right click on it select the option called add and please add the web form what has been expected to work with the form view and the details view so in a toolbox Form view and details view controls has been expected. So from a toolbox, you will find a data category. Under the data category, you will find your details view as well as the form view. So I can drag the form view first. It shows me form view. Right click on choose edit template true. Because first thing, this form view should be linked with which database. So for that reason, we are choosing a new data source. As we are connecting with the SQL server, we are using SQL database. Choosing our server name. My server name over here is dot backslash SQL express. And my database name I had mentioned over here is BSC ID. Given a click on OK. Further, I had given a click on again. Next, saving this connection string in the web.config. If you are not knowing the purpose of saving the connection string in the web.config, Please watch the practical video 6AB, 6, 6AB uh, 6 and C. And here I am going with the table named as employee. Remember that your employee table or the table which you are selecting must have a primary key. Otherwise, this option is also grayed like this. So I have selected this option using the optimistic concurrency. Given a click on OK. Given a click on Next. Testing the query and then finishing the query. So this is what my form view looks like. I just change the size of it. Now, sir, what is the work by this new delete edit? Sir, really the control works in that fashion? Yes, the control works in the fashion. Actually, there are various templates which are been created in the form view. And we are allowed to go for editing the template also. So here you will be finding the option that is called as edit template. If you want, you can enable paging just like our grid view. Which allows you to go for navigating between the records. So here, first before editing the template, we will just try to run this page and see how the page looks like. Currently, it displays the form view. And in this form view, you can see your first record and in a paging, you are able to go for navigating between the records. So you can go to the second record, you can go to the last record, you can go to the fifth record and so on. When you give a click on new, it shows me a form where I need to enter my employee ID, enter my employee name, enter my employee salary and when I give a click on insert, you will find a new record need to be added. Now what is happening, the insert statement cannot work because while creating a table, I had provided a check constraint where it says that data should be added if the salary is above 5000. Now you can find the new data has also been added. Namita is there, then this is what the new record which has been added so you can see which record Achha, this is what the record which was been added over here i can go to record number five right one two three eighty seven wala record mein add kiya tha. if i would like to delete the record yes yeah the record can be deleted also if you want to modify the record okay vishal ke jagah mein vishal kar diya mene to vishal kar diya or save kar diya to bhi aap dekh sakte ho record is what been modified but sir when i'm looking at this particular form view I can't see where the insert wala option is available. Now those are the templates which are been given by the form view. 
So you can give a click on this and you can select edit templates. So currently you are in the item template. It means how the values must be displayed. Want to change the colors? You can select, you can go to properties, you can change the background color, you can change the foreground color, you can change the font size, whatever the option which you would like to implement. Those can be implemented by you. I can change the background and I can change the foreground also. I know it will not look good, but okay, fine. Ek bar dekh lo bhai, sach bhai. Display wala background and foreground kya hoga re baba aap loon ka change hua hai. So it is possible for you to go for, just you can see the record. Now this is the record where the label is having back color as red and four color is near to yellow. Now here it comes, how I can go to the insert item template is simply you can, instead of item template, you can select over here insert item template. If you want to implement validations, you can implement the validations over here also. So how to implement validation? Please watch the practical 4ABC. So that will be helping you to implement the validations also. Moving ahead, you will be having header template. So what will be displayed on a header? I just say my employee info. And if I run this particular page, you can just check. On a header, you will find a message has been displayed as what my employee info. Whereas you are able to go for implementing the footer template also. And you can go on changing whatever the details which you require in this particular form. And ultimately you can say end editing the template. Now, just like a form view, we have another control which is termed as detail view, which we had already practiced where we had retrieved the values from the XML file and we have put it inside what your details view. I think so, which was the practical. Practical number nine. Just we'll just check which was practical, which was being conducted by us for the same. I think so. 9A, right, right, right. 9A, nahi hai, right? 9 to grid view. Ka hai. Just wait the practical. No, 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 no. Details view, details view. XML file ko amla display ki other details view ke andar. Kiya ta. Data binding drop down list hai. 6 hai, 7 hai. 5 hai, 4 hai. 3 I think so page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we had used data list. Okay, sorry. It was been a control card data list. It is not a details view. So we have not seen a details view. So let us see a details view also. So here I can go with a details view. And I can drag it just like what your form view. It is exactly same like a form view. You can choose the same data source. You are allowed to go for inserting, editing, as well as deleting. If you want, you can go for paging. If you want, you can go for editing the fields. Like this is the employee ID. You would like to change the header text. Instead of EID, you got to get to specify employee ID. You can provide employee ID. So, you'll find the same text has been displayed on the label. But it will not give you a lot many templates. It will be only giving you the template called as footer template, header template, empty data template and pager template. So, what will be displayed on the header? What will be displayed on the footer? But the form view is much more advanced than what your details view. So, normally we are working with what a form view more than a details view. Details view has been normally linked with our grid view. So when you select a particular record from grid view, um, might be you will be only displaying some roll number, name and age inside a grid. But when the user selects the record of a student from a grid view, his entire detail should be displayed beside. That is nothing but a details view. So over there you are able to go for implementing the details view. So this is all about our practical number 8B. So you have to demonstrate your form view and details view control in this particular practical. Thanks a lot student. Please subscribe the channel.